<laughs> People say you're a sandwich artist, son. All right, well, I'm your sandwich buyer. Let's do this. Grab the Asiago bread and make it toast. I don't care how you do it. Use a blowtorch, start a fire, use the sun if you have to. Just make sure it goes crunch when it's time to taste. Because if it doesn't, you don't want to walk down that road. I can guarantee you that much, you hokey pokey mother. All right, next up, get the oil and vinegar ready because you're going to use it. I like oil and vinegar because they don't mix like fish and cheese. I find any cheese on my tuna fish. Yeah, that's right. I'm a tuna fish, man. I'm going to go into the parking lot, find out which car is yours, take my pants down, and spray my chili and cheese all over your windshield. Minus the chili. I didn't have any chili today. That's why I'm in here getting a sandwich from an artist. You eating fresh motherfucker. All right, all right, all right. After a hard day of being sexy, Nothing relaxes me more than a little wango tango on the captain's bongos. Let's do this. <laughs> Hold the pace, Picante. Something sounds a little wrong. Wait a minute. Look who's siesta we just interrupted. None other than sexiest baby alive. Levi McConaughey. <laughs> little man's tuckered out. Just lost his virginity last night. Beat his old man's record by three minutes. You hungry, buddy? Come on, get some more chata. But like I always told him, you make him laugh, you make him breakfast. <laughs> All right, Levi. Go long. Howdy. Best thing about being a singer-songwriter is it's just you, your good old guitar, and some powerful words. This song's about world peace. saying anything. Sing it with me. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna write as oh, am I? But Tell them before it's too late. Thank you. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. And I'm Chris Christofferson. And I'm Johnny Cash. And we like to tell you about a game Johnny and I like to play on the road called Lawn Darts. Uh, who's the what on? Lawn Darts, Johnny. I don't know about a lawn dart, but I just made a lawn fart. Jesus Christ, Johnny. I drew mud. Afternoon, young people. Pass up your homework. It's pretty light. Pretty light. Let me tell you something, kiddos. You got about a week and a half left of school, and it's fourth and long. You're mine till you're not. I'm talking to you, Mr. Grobe. Do something your nose, you'll find your mouth. So shut it. Next year, if you're lucky enough, some of you are going to be going to college and you're going to have professors much harder than me. Don't get me wrong. I'll reduce you to puddles. Just ask some of my ballplayers. Isn't that right, Mr. Eversberg? Yeah. But some of you, you put in the time, you can fade the heat like Miss Klingensmith over there. She's going to get what she wants out of life. You think I wanted to be a math teacher? Wrong. Try center field for the Kansas City Royals. But sometimes life Wraps out glass balls instead of ruby diamond balls. You know where you can take that? You can take that to the bank. Hey there, American people. A lot of youngsters out there think that I don't have a sense of humor. Well, that's funny because I was just reading some family circus in the comics here. 
And look at that, PJ had pancakes for breakfast. Should I laugh? Pretty funny.